Well, 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 what do we have here? What's up, guys, and welcome back to Expedition. So we have the Super Duty. This is our first modded truck in this game. We're in early access right now, so we have only three pages of mods to choose from, but I think over time they're going to add more. Obviously, when the game fully releases on March 5th, we're going to have more. So we're just going to mix things up. We're going to have fun with this. Get out of here, baby. See what we can do. So we want to go ex examine the stone mounds at the Ford and explore the Coconino area, which is going to be over on the other side over there. I think we've got... A bunch of wetlands we're going to be going through. Ooh, we're taking some damage off the start here. This thing is definitely very fast, so. Got to slow things down a little bit, bring her down to a crawl, and we're going to see what kind of trouble we can get into. Can we get down this way? I really hope so. We had a couple of jack screws. Woo! We're good. Don't go too fast here, Trev. But, um, yeah, we're going to be going over that way. I've got it marked. We're going to have to go through. We've kind of been almost to that area before, but then we've got to go past it, and this is going to be the gateway to Coconino, which might be a new map or something we could unlock. I'm not sure. Let's see how this goes for us, dude. This is insane. Look at this lime green interior. We got Apple CarPlay on. All right. We've been over this river before. You know, oh. I guess it's not shallow there. Hold on a second. Let me check our echo sounder. It's shallow over there. Okay, that's my bad. 100% thought we were going to be in the shallow towards the middle there. I love that you could see the guy driving inside. His head, like, bobbing around. The steering wheel moving. This looks good, baby. Okay. Keep pushing. Oh, my goodness, dude. She is... A beast. Look at the flex on that thing. All right. We're in good shape. See, it's it's interesting, man. I don't know. Like, it, obviously, this thing is, is wicked fast. I, I don't even want to press the, the gas here. This is way faster than anything else we have. If we find a flat area, I might gas it a little bit, kind of like right here. Look at that thing go. So, like, it's a little bit cheesy in some ways, but at the same time, kind of mixes things up a little bit. I feel like, if anything, this one might be the cheesiest that we're going to have. A lot of the mods, especially, I'm sure when the game fully comes out, they're going to be very... I, people try to make it very realistic. This thing with an S-plus rating on speed and everything else isn't quite as much. Where do we go from here? I forget. Looks like we go down to the left, but I'm not sure where. Straight over this? Looks like that might be our only option. But for a mission where we're covering area that we've already been to, we might as well mix things up. You know what I mean? Let's have some fun with it and see if we can find some success. Ooh, are we going to be able to... No way, dude. Oh. We're kind of stuck there. Come on. Dude, I'm surprised by how... I mean, that, that wine is just addicting. I'm surprised at how good, like, the, the physics and the, the flex and the suspension and stuff look. Down this way. Beautiful. Yeah, this thing's got so much clearance, so much power. I, it's not perfect, but it's certainly close. Get a little interior view here. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll definitely bounce back and forth as interesting mods and things come out. We'll use it to kind of keep pushing along. I'm excited to see some of the modded maps when those start coming out. We have 5% 10 on the windows here. Get back outside. Okay. Going to go to the right and then cut back left. We did flip ourselves over a couple times. Just want to be careful about that in the last episode. That's why I brought our jack screws with us just in case. See, this thing just looks so good. I kind of wish we could have painted it a different color. I feel like the, the black kind of takes a, away from it a little bit, but we're going to be fine. Let's go back this way. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll find a nice balance. I want to check out some of the big rigs, some of the crazy machinery and stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm looking back with rose-tinted glasses. But I do really feel like SnowRunner had more available. We're also different types of missions. I really liked some of the, like, delivery missions and stuff. Whereas this, a lot of time, has just been mainly going and exploring. This is... We flipped here last time. We dipped our tire up too far to the left. 
We have officially learned our lesson and came back with a slightly more capable vehicle. All right, moving towards uncharted territory here. So this is where we rescued that RV in the last episode. I kind of want to try to go mud bogging a little bit. I mean, I don't want to get her stuck. What do we think here? We could go left or right. I'm going to go left just to mix things up a little bit. We think we can go through this. How, how deep is this? That's not that deep. We can see it. We can go through it. Come on, baby. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Oh my gosh, dude. See, this is what I'm talking about. That looks so good. I think we might want to go this way. Love seeing her get all dirty. Like, are you kidding? Look at look at the way the back wheel is, is sinking in there. Okay, that's actually really bad for us. Let's not let's not let that happen. Okay. Um We might be able to get around the left over here. I'm gonna try going this way. I think what we should aim to do is like some of the, the tougher missions that we get in this game like this is just a straight up scouting mission we could have done this with any vehicle we didn't have to do anything crazy here these are where we should mess about try some different vehicles mix things up make it fun and then i, I really like we've unlocked a, a hard and i think one very hard mission which i'm excited to tackle so we can do that with the the basic equipment that we have to make things a little bit harder do we think we're going to be able to get through here it looks like we might be able to that's what i'm talking about look at this pathway dude are you kidding me okay welcome to coconino reserved places where the arizona desert intersects with a lot of greenery which distinguishes this area from nearby territories this is a part of the arizona region okay I didn't know this existed. So there are more maps that we, wow, look at that. There are more maps that we didn't know existed. We, we have uh, technically three. There was a tutorial map and then Arizona and the really, really green one. That's going to take us back to the Grand Canyon if we want to go back there. Dude, this is insane. Okay, so we want to push forward, keep exploring. We're going to explore that yellow area. See if we might be able to set up a new base of operations or something. This is cool, dude. I don't know. I don't want to judge the game too early. It has been really fun so far. Like, I, it's just, it is so challenging. It is so different than any other game that we play. But I will say, I, I think early on, I liked SnowRunner a little bit better. I hope this thing grows on me. Looks like we've got an Old West town out here. With skulls and hitching posts and all kinds of stuff. What is this? Old saloon? What's this yellow thing here? Got a task. Once here lay the path of miners who came to these lands during the gold rush. This historical community is interested in capturing this path in order to receive or recreate the events of this beautiful area. We can follow that? What's our task? Onto the golden path. It wants us to follow the route. I mean, we have that for right now. I'm going to stop tracking that for now, and then we can maybe go back to our main explore the stone mounds or do we want to explore the area i guess we can do both okay yeah if we take a uh if we go straight and around to the right of this rock formation might be our best case scenario we do have a bit of a road here we can work with at least what used to be a road looks like we have a lot of water in this region which is to be expected with this much greenery Taking some damage there. We don't like that. Just got to slow things down. Honestly, I, what if we... What if we just put this thing in low? The entire time. I think that might be a little bit too slow. I want something... I, I want like a governor on it. We need something that's a little bit slower. Okay, we want to get back that way. Shoot. It looks like we might be able to go on through there. We should collect this. There's an avalanche over here. To be honest, this actually kind of feels like the speed of some of our other trucks. So maybe we do go... We could go low plus. That might be... Oh, low plus might be a little too fast. What is an avalanche? Deliver supplies. We need 75 spare parts. And we uncovered the avalanche. So we can go straight through there now and take it around. I mean, I didn't know that was an option, but I guess it works for me. Now the problem is we're going to have to put it back in auto to be able to reverse. I got a low to go forward. Yeah, this is better. We were moving way too fast before. 
Now we're just going to pretend like it's one of our real, real vehicles. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at this. Every corner you cross, there's just more chaos ahead. I don't know if we're going to be able to get around this, though. We might want to end up going back. We'll see. It looks like eh, maybe through there. It's not going to be easy, but might be able to put her in low high. Low plus. How are we looking for water depth here? Yeah, looks like it's pretty rough. Okay. I'm going to stick to the land side of things here. Now, the thing is, this has obviously a lot of clearance, but with that comes a lot more opportunity to roll over than any of our other vehicles, which we have proven that we can do. Got another little pond there. So we're trying to explore this area, and then we're trying to go past it. So let's try to do like a little loop. Maybe a route of the left. Looks like we're not going to be able to cross that. We need to figure out how to get those like expandable bridges. I don't love the sound when you're in max there. But yeah, you have those foldable bridges you can put over any ravine or anything. Ooh, what is this up here? Slowly uncovering all of this. Dude, this thing looks insane. Deliver supplies, your spare parts. Is That's going to build... Okay, that's how you do the bridges. I didn't know that. So you just deliver parts and it makes them. I mean, that's kind of our best case scenario. We got to be really careful about this, though. Oh. My. Goodness, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at that. That is so good. All right. Let's not pose for too long. Get across this thing. So we're just trying to fill as much of this out as possible. We honestly could have got a little bit more to the left there. We're at 46%. We probably should have looking at that. We might want to... We might want to turn around here before we waste any more time because we want to keep going the other way. This is just a little bit sketchy. Hold on. The bridges are nice, but they are not foolproof. I kind of feel like maybe we could build them a little bit wider next time, but I don't think we have the choice on that. So we're going to make our way down here. All right. And we want to try to grab all this gray over here. Bring her around this way. And we've got a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. I'm going to try to get as much as possible over here. <laughs> this is a really bad idea. Throw your e-brake on. Yep, got, got that. Okay. I mean, I don't think... I doubt we're going to need that. We're at 66% now. We're good. Okay. Just, just kind of a little flex right here. Question is... Getting her back to out of there. Dude, we are hanging wheels off the side where they should not be hung. Okay. Back up this rock we go. I think we can climb this. Bro. Oh, 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 oh. Did we butt off too much? I don't think so. This is insane. Back across the bridge one final time. Sometimes you just... Gotta commit, but you gotta make sure you hit your marks. I feel like low is good across the bridge. Dude, there is, with the, the fit of these tires, there is not any room for, uh, for error there. All right. I think we're looking pretty good here. So we're gonna go straight across. Just try to get this to 100%. We're at 69. Hee hee. And it looks like we're going to want to get that. We're good. Let me take that. We're going to want to get down. At some point, we might have to use the drone. Got to get up before we can get down, baby. There she is. I am really impressed by the physics and, and how well it all looks. Even though this is a mod. Okay, we went too far. We're going to go back this way. I'll set a marker. Dude, this game just looks so insane. Look at those areas off over there. Give me my Mubinox. Look at that. Look at how freaking beautiful this is. Okay. So we want to go down for 99%. We shouldn't have to go all the way down. Just give me give me that last percentage. Please. Are we going the right way? We got it. Okay. We're good. Back her out of here and now we're going to have to find a way down on the other side. Which may prove to be a 
bit more difficult than what we've run into so far. I kind of feel like maybe perch ourselves up here. Looks like that's where we're going to be going. Let's take a look at that. Look, uh, we might have a, a direction right here in front of us. We're trying to make it over there. We've got an airdrop on the way, which we could take a look at. Can you set... I don't think you can set objectives through your binoculars. I guess we could set our objective here. Looking at our map here... I mean, it's... We could go over here, down and around, but that's got a pretty steep drop. This has a bunch of steep drops, but it doesn't look terrible. This right there looks not bad. Obviously, if we go back and around, we could go down there and all the way around. I'm not really interested in that. I, do we think we can take this on here? It really doesn't look that bad. I think we can do it. I mean, it's it's steep, but it's it's not insane. This is a climb that was meant to be done. There we go. Okay. Making our way downtown, walking fast. Oh, boy. Now, this is where we run into issues. I don't think we're going to be able to get across that without a winch. I thought about buying the winches. I think we might be able to make it through the mud, though. I'm going to put her in low. As long as we can get down there in one piece. I don't know if we should nosedive off that. You see that part over there? I think we're going to be able to get out over there. All right, let's 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 back this up. This is either a really good or a really bad idea here. Come on. Get there. Get there. Get there. Get there. We're good. We should be able to get on this end. Definitely don't want to spend too much time in here. A little bit of damage. But it looks like we're okay. Got our airdrop over here. If we're going to take a look at this, not fall into that. Let's see what we got. So I think we could just take things from airdrops. We could take jack screws. I don't think we need them. I'm going to take the scrap metal. I don't know how the jack screws work. I hope if we spent 1,200 on some jack screws here, I really hope we can use those again in the future. Oh, look at this. We found a beach. This looks a bit sketchy. I would imagine we probably have some... I don't want to winch. Probably have some issues with depth here, but might be able to make it across. And zoom us in a little bit. We're kind of like seeing her a bit closer. All right, we got a fast current. I think we're probably gonna want to go across right here, the shortest spot. Looks like we're shallow all the way through. It's not shallow, but we are making it. Oop! Hold on a second. Can we make it through there? If we stay to the left, we could just go right. Let's just go right. That'd be crazy, Trev. I know you got a nice truck and all, but... Let's try to be smart about it. Discovered a new Ford. We can start scanning. So this is our first scan. Do we have, like, a military satellite, or how do we possibly have this technology on us. Looks like our next one's going to be up to the top left. Examine the stone mounds at the Ford. Assuming there's going to be one over to the right. Look at that. Just triangulated around us. Got it. Seems that there's nothing left under the water. Maybe there's something valuable there. Stage is complete. Find the stash among the stones. Oh, there's a gold nugget? I mean, we're going to be sifting for gold here. We got the inventory. All right, we're going to keep pushing forward. How much further? Wow, we've got another mountain to climb. Dude, this is ridiculous. And this is like the secondary part of the map that we hadn't seen before. Okay. Okay. Well, no time like the present. Let's just keep moving. I don't think we want to drive over those sharp rocks. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to want to go left. Throw her in low. It's regular low. Should be able to make it across. I just love seeing these things crawl through it. Assuming off to the left, we probably could have gone right there, but I'm just going to go with our gut here. We like going right or left here. Feel like right. Just keep her tight. 
so many different routes you can take, but every single one of them makes me nervous. Looks like we have another side mission here. I kind of... Ooh, I've got my parking brake on. My bad. I kind of feel like uh, we should start trying to grab all of these. New task, wrong address. I'm not going to follow it right now, but does that unlock it for us? I'm going to pull away a little bit and see if it unlocks it on the map. I'm assuming it unlocks it. Yeah, wrong address. Okay. We've also got lost cargo up here. So wrong address shows up in our task list now. And it shows you exactly where you need to go. So obviously when we have different home bases and stuff set up, we can jump to them easier. Now the fact that we don't have... It shows it on the map. It's next to us. But we don't have lost cargo. We aren't going to be able to see what it needs. So really what we should do, if it's not too much hassle, we should try... Oh, this is dangerous. We should get it though. Yeah, this thing's an absolute monster. We should try to grab these whenever we see them. So you discover them and then you can you can have them for future reference. All right, do we want to go, I guess, straight through the valley? Going to deliver a gold nugget to an outpost. This feels like maybe the harder route for us to go, but we're just going to send it. It's going to go right through here where we fit, we sit. <laughs> this thing is just so good. <laughs> I'll be honest, it, like, it made light work of this. Uh, it, this was a pretty easy mission as is, but I think the truck definitely played a big part in it. Delivered the supplies. There it is. We'll take it. I think a lot of the mods are a little bit more realistic. This one was very obviously uh, meant to be kind of a cool visual thing, but makes you a lot better i mean i'm i'm down to do another one if we do just kind of like we could that unlocked coca chino now or Co coca nino urgent repair observation tires are essential for keeping disasters at bay but all they do for us uh before all they do for us we must also take care of them first things first what condition are they in that's for you to find out bring us back some photos we can assess how much degradation they've suffered out there in the elements looks like we've got four of them that we could go check out i'm down for it we unlock this one. We unlock Coca Nino. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna stick with the uh, stick with our beast of a truck for now. She's making things so easy for us, and we're gonna keep moving forward. But yeah, I, I think a lot of the mods are just like bigger, more interesting trucks, and and just like varied trucks that you won't find in the game that are a little bit more realistic in performance values. I mean, this, I wouldn't say this is unrealistic. It's just very much one of the best options in the game. I think if you had a truck this lifted, this much clearance, this much power, you could you could probably get a, a similar vibe out of it. We're gonna try crawling our way up these rocks. See, we, it's not the answer to everything. There we go, our textures are loaded in. I think we might, where am I going? I don't know why I was trying to go up further. It's just right here. Inspect the first tower. This is it. Maybe I was thinking about the next objective. I'm not sure. Start scanning. Oh, okay. Those first ones, you kind of got to spam, but sometimes it doesn't register. This thing is looking pretty dilapidated. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how much you're going to be able to do with this, but I wish you all the luck. I could see the other one across the way over there. Look at that giant archway, too. Tower is almost falling down and supported by a tree. We need to take a picture of it. Okay, take a photo of the damage. If we move forward a little bit. Start scanning. Oh, hello. Zoom this thing out. Why are we so far zoomed in? What the heck? That's our truck right there. Image is out of focus? What are you talking about? Okay, the, the zoom is right. There, the photo. Okay, I, I see what we're doing. Beautiful, nice photography, Trev. Love it. Why was the sensitivity on that so high? Stage is complete. We're going to be free to move on to the second tower. Which is all the way over here. Are you kidding me? We've got to go that far? That's not that over there, is it? It might... No... That's showing one over this way. I mean, this is... Is this not ridiculous to go that far? It's just outside of the entrance to this place that we were at so long ago. I'm 
tempted. I don't think there's any fast travel. I think the only place we can spawn in here is here. Unless we go back to the Grand Canyon and do it ourselves. So we're just, we're, I think we're going to have to drive this. I was really hoping that was the next tower right there. It's not. I think we're not going to be going this way either. Okay. This suddenly turned into a very long day for your boy. Dude, this is legitimately going to take ages to get over there. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to play this up for the video. This, that is the entire map. Everything we've done in this video up until this point, we are going to redo to go back to a tower that we've already been next to before. I don't know if there's a fast travel in this game. I don't know. I know you can travel to research points or, like, your, your HQs. I hope we can go down right here. This is not the way we got up here, but... Looks like it should have been. Go back across the water. Yeah, this is... This is going to be a freaking trek all the way back. All right. Since we've already seen most of it, I'll let you guys know if we have any issues. Sometimes going one way is a lot harder than the other, but I've got a feeling this is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm not going to lie. The speed of this truck is very appetizing for this job. If we had one of our really slow scouts, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty quick here. Let's zoom out, get you guys a slightly better view. This thing can move, so the fact that we can go this fast, I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to end up causing any damage. We're going to go left or right here. Probably right. We could discover some more stuff on the left, though. You know what? We could try. Let's, let's try it. Sense of adventure. Let's get it done. Here we go. Let's uncover some new tasks, some new objectives, some new whatever. Let's explore the map. Try to be careful as we can, but we're not taking no for an answer. It kind of looks like this is somewhat of a shortcut, too. I just feel like we're going up. Pretty sure eventually we're going to want to go down, but sounds like that's tomorrow's problem. And look at this. We've already encountered a blockade. It was a good thought. I'm going to skip ahead. I wish there was a way to make it all daytime all the time. I mean, I, I want the, the sun to move around a little bit, but... Trying to do this stuff during nighttime or dusk is not fun. And what do you know? We are back down in the same dang mud holes we were in before. We did a loop around and now we're right back to where we were. I'm going to try going left up here though. Let's not get stuck. Come on, girl. Crawl your way out of there. I love seeing the tires flex and everything. I really, we should, uh, oop. Hold on. Let's put low tire pressure on and see. We don't want to do damage. Oh, the little tire pressure doesn't really affect it, unfortunately. I was going to say, that would look super sick if you could see these giant, I don't know, what is this, a 45 or something? Just deflated to the max, gripping like no other. Got another airdrop over there. I mean, we could definitely get to that. Do we think there's anything good in that? Let's go check it out. It's a bit of a precarious thing here. And I don't know if I love this idea, but we're gonna try our best. I think we go over the branch and off to the right. I mean, something like this, you gotta have something good in here, right? If you're on your own little island out here, in the middle of nothing, trade. Looks like we've got some more spare parts, as well as some jack screws, we'll take it. Okay, I think we should be able to go straight then. Ooh. Definitely not that way though. Let's see our next waypoint off in the distance. Oh shoot. Um, check the depth. I don't think we're making it through that. Looks like we can go up to the left, though. All about being smart. I want to get one of the big, like, super crazy deep trucks with the snorkels where we can just plow through the red. That'll be fun once we get there. We made it back to our town here. I mean... Oh, my goodness, dude. All right, I love it. This truck is so good. So we got to get up top there. Looking like if we go left, that's going to be a climb right there. We're going to have some debris in the way, but definitely nothing this beast can't handle. Try to find the best way to get there. Looks like we're going to go straight up that, and that should take us directly to our second point. I'm certainly hoping the third point is going to be a lot closer than what this one was. But it was all in good fun. 
Discovered a new clan. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like like most of these, our normal scouts would have had no problem with. Obviously, the one area where we flipped yesterday, getting through that part to get to this area would have been probably the hardest part of, of this episode. But I think we would have been a little bit slower. We wouldn't have had as many options available to us, but I, I definitely think we could have done most, most of this. This one's in good shape. Start scanning. All right. Whew. That was a tight scan zone. We got a broken staircase here. We're going to be able to work with that. A little bit bigger scan zone. Like to see those. I mean, a staircase is nothing. We can take care of that. No problem. And back to the start. There she is. Hold the tower began to collapse and it needs to be repaired urgently. I mean, I guess some of the big pieces have fallen off. It, it, that, that, bottom, that bottom layer looks a little bit rough. Not going to lie, but it's not terrible. Now we're going to take our photo. So there's our, our tower. Focus is already on point. We're going to zoom out, which means our focus is going to change. So you've got to increase the focus. There it is. Take the photo. Send her in. That's a job complete. Okay. Next up, we want to explore an area over here. I think we're going to be looking. Is that... That might be the tower that... No, I think the tower we saw was over here. Okay. So we're going to have to go go back across. They've got us just pinballing all over the place here. Can't say that I appreciate it, but a job's a job. It's got to get done. Got full daytime on the way back here. I like this. Everything's nice and bright. Suspension is light. And we're going to be good to go, baby. Let's try putting this thing in high gear. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I... I guess I should have seen that coming. Put her in high again. Coming through town. We do have a, a bit of a, a road to work with here. Yeah, we're doing lots of damage to the truck. Probably not our, our best idea. Okay, back back into auto. Yeah, she, she's got some wheels on her. Okay. So we're going to be coming across here. We want to take a right. Pretty much follow that same path that we followed when we first started. We're just going to hang a bit more of a left towards the end. Oh my gosh. You guys remember when we came through here, we released the, the avalanche with our extra spare parts. Saw this for the first time. It wants us to go all the way across to the top of that plateau. All right. Well, that's where we took a right before. Not going that way this time around. Looks like we've got some broken wagons out here. The boy's got a, big, a bit of a wagon himself. More than... One or two horsepower, though. Just be careful through here. We're good. What do we think the best way up? That spot on the right looks pretty good. I definitely think it's going to be that spot on the right. Look at this thing. Getting out of the mud. Oh, my goodness. What a shot there. All right. We got a muddy tailgate. Nobody ever judged me for that, That though. That's really kind of a disgusting thought. I think we could go right there, but I see an option for going left. So I'm going to go for that. This way. Okay. Part of this has been secured. Now, we haven't used our drone a ton. We could probably throw the drone up here. And let's see. So it wants us all the way up top. I think that's the spot right there. It's definitely going to be to the left. It's not to the right. I think we ought to have to go up this climb right here on our left and then maybe take a left. I'm just going to go for it here. Oh, boy. Okay. Definitely up here. Now, I'll be honest. This might be the, the first spot today where I don't think maybe one of our other vehicles could have got it. But those rocks are pretty tough. It's another little outlook off in the distance there. Okay. I guess up this. Dude, can you imagine taking your $100,000, $200,000 truck up something like this in real life? Come on, girl. Might, might want to throw her in low here. Do we think she can do this? Come on. Push. 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 There she is. Okay, I think we could have gone left over there, but we might be able to just go right. 
Drive over some cacti and we made it, baby. My goodness. Okay, where's... It's, oh, it wants... It wants us to explore the area. I wasn't paying enough attention, I guess. I was just trying to get up to the mark. I think we probably should have tried to get more along the bottom to start, but... We conquered it. That's what counts. We're fine. Just don't cut corners. Dude, this thing is so lifted, sometimes I can't even see where it is. Just gotta keep, you know, 55, 60% of the weight on real solid ground, and we should be okay. I think we've explored pretty much the max of this. If we go down this backside and go into that ravine, might be our best case scenario. It's just a question of getting down there. Slow and steady. Rip our bumper off, not a big deal. Okay, we're going the right way, right? Yep. We want to get down pretty much the way we came. That's the ravine we're looking for. This feels like a bad idea. Whew. And down onto the road. Oh my goodness, okay. Life flashed before our eyes a couple times there, but we're all right. Now, if we could go directly right, and just kind of down into the muck down here, we're at 68%, but that should go up very quickly. 72. We're looking good here. 75. We're just going to make a quick little loop around. If it makes us go back up to the top of that mountain, I'm on a screen. I feel like this entire mission has just been like, go here, but wait. There's more. Turn around and go back to halfway where you had been. I kind of want to go through the mud here. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Let me double check our depths. Oh, we've been here before. Check our, our depths again. Yeah, we don't want to go through the red, but... Might be able to keep it where we're at. Alright, we're at 90%. Love seeing that suspension flex as much as it does. Dude, this thing is an absolute monster. Come around this way. This should give us our last... 10% right here. 98 and that's a job well done. Inspect the third tower. So the third tower is going to be on the opposite cliff. It's the one we actually saw. All right. Um, I'm imagining maybe back to where we came from and up this way is probably going to be our best case scenario. All right. Let's get the heck out of here. And try to get back the way we came. There she is up there. Up on that mountain over there. Okay. We've... Got a lot of ground to retrace between us and her, but that's going to be just fine. This honestly kind of ended up being the perfect episode for this one. Just a lot of travel. A lot of back and forth. Still ended up taking a very long time. But able to get her done. Old girl was her natural habitat for sure. Uncovered a new area. Saw some nice... Greenery out there, I think up this. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're good. Light work. That is what we're looking for. I th think we may have bit off more than we can. Oh, we might be able to get across there. This way. Let's do a little first person. There's not a whole lot you can see to be honest. It, it really makes me nervous. Okay, yep, because you you can just drive off a cliff. Without realizing it. We'll go across this way. We do have two jacks, which we have not had to use yet, which has been nice. Oh, look. This is the easiest job of the day. Just cruise up to this thing. Give her a little extra up. And get slowed down here a little bit. Try to evade this rock. And there we have it. Put our e-brake on, start scanning. See what we got going on with this thing. Looks like this one is uh, kind of a mix of the other two. 
Might be in the worst shape out of all of them. But at least we've got the intel that we need. The beams begin to bend due to rust. Uh, we hope the government will quickly respond to this situation. And then we're going to want to start back up here. We're going to try to get up top. And secure a photo of the damage. Get around that dude. Even like the little pieces of plywood are individual. I love interacting with the environment when you see like the rocks moving and tumbling down the mountain or like that right there. The little piece of plywood getting knocked off the box. All right, here we go. Start scanning. The highest freaking. We want to get our our zoom in first. There we go. Highest sensitivity camera I've ever seen. Focus a little bit closer to us. Bring her in. There it is. Snap the photo. Send it to the government. We're good to go. There you guys have it. That, my friends, is our first modded vehicle here in the game. Again, honestly, really, really good. It, it's OP for sure. I, I think when you look at its stats, if we look at our scouts, we've got like A minus B, A minus, B minus, B minus. There is an S here, the, the Dawn 71 on fuel consumption. But look at this thing s plus s plus s so it was a little bit op i don't think most of the mods are like that but obviously a very cool truck a very cool build and i'm glad we did it we honestly kind of got the perfect mission for it it was just a lot of driving back and forth and it suited us well so if you guys want to see more from this game let me know if you want to see more mods like i said we're gonna mix it up this one right here check this out we've got a very hard mission i wouldn't use anything op on stuff like that but it could be kind of fun to mix it up. I think we might check this one out in the next episode, or we might go check out the Carpathians. Looks like a pretty cool area, and we've got our first mission in Apex Europe. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.